romanticizing everyone driving like a fucking idiot. Pretty that looks. I should wake up early more often. finished editing my video for today and it is uploading right now i feel so good i did the final touches at home but editing at the coffee shop made me get my rough cut of the video done so much quicker it's basically just the part where you like cut up all the footage and take out what you don't want and i always procrastinate that part but sitting in a coffee shop made me do it so freaking quick well at least quicker than normal so that was great um but I'm gonna work out really quick and then we're gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna do my at-home co-pilot workout. You know the drill. Let's do it. Up first is 30 seconds of single arm toe touch for each. finished my workout and took a body shower and before I get ready for the rest of my day I want to show you guys some new pieces I just got from White Fox look at my bed right now I got the cutest things and I need to show you and then we're going to pick out an outfit to wear tonight because I have dinner with my family to celebrate my parents 25th wedding anniversary so we're gonna pick out my outfit get ready for that and then go to my hometown and go celebrate because that is crazy 25 years how exciting i'm gonna try everything on for you in a second but i got the cutest pieces for summer yes i'm drinking coffee out of a wine glass don't ask it's too pretty not to i just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that white fox is having a huge sale right now and you guys can use my code amanda in all caps for 30 percent off during the duration of the sale so the sale will be going on from june 21st to june 30th and once the sale ends my code will go back to 15 percent off so make sure you guys go shop because this is a crazy good sale yeah i just wanted to pop in and let you guys know about that so let's get back into the video i love working with white fox because these are my favorite clothes literally ever i'm a walking white fox ad i wear their stuff literally every day they also carry white fox swim and white fox active which i have a few swim pieces to show you guys today because summer is coming need more bikinis so excited about that i cannot believe summer's here they also have afterpay available for all us australian and new zealand customers and they also have express worldwide shipping okay let's get into the pieces i'm so excited okay first things first i have on the blessed life bustier i got this in a size small i love this top it zips up in the back and it's so cute i love the detailing the lace it's so sexy and then i got the we don't talk denim shorts in a size medium i love these shorts i always have trouble finding denim shorts that fit me well and that i feel comfortable walking around in and these ones are just absolutely perfect they're high-waisted they fit me perfectly on the waist and are long enough to where I'll feel comfortable wearing them. So I love these. Okay, I know it's about to be summer, but I got this huge trench coat. It's the rainy day trench in a size extra small, small. I literally just could not help myself because I loved it that much. I already know next winter and fall, I'm going to be living in this. Like there's so many looks that this would just elevate and it's just everything. It's an essential, it's a go-to. I feel like everyone needs this in their wardrobe. It's such a cool piece and I love it and it's such nice quality I feel like it would actually keep me warm definitely don't need this for the summer season but I'm glad I have it <laughs> 
Next we have the Hollywood Dreams Bustier. I wore this last night to a party and I loved the way it looked. I loved the way it felt. I just felt confident and cute in it. It's just adorable. I love how the straps like fall like that. I think it's really pretty. And it zips up in the back. I love the pattern. I love it all. Next we have the Loving You Is Hard top in a size small. I love this because it's just a basic white top. It's also so soft. The back is fun. The little party in the back moment it's so cute I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this this summer okay this is definitely a contender for tonight because i feel like this is really nice i love this top this is the all me tie back top it's so soft i love the scoop neck and then it's a little party in the back again it's so freaking cute and then i paired this top with the with you vintage jeans these ones are a little bit low rise i have another pair of white fox jeans that are really similar to this except a little bit more form-fitting and a little higher waisted but i love these ones they're definitely going to be another go-to white fox jeans just fit perfectly and they're so comfortable and great quality so i'm a big fan and i love this outfit together i really might wear this tonight next we have the hold you close crop i love this shirt so much i wish i got an extra small because the straps are a little bit long on me but i'm really short i'm five one so keep that in mind but i'm obsessed with this shirt i feel like if i got it taken in a little bit it would fit me a little bit better but regardless i'm obsessed with this shirt i need you guys to see how pretty all the detailing is like the straps are gorgeous all of the detailing on the whole shirt is just so dainty and delicate and girly and pretty and this is easily one of my new favorite shirts that i own it is stunning this top is definitely another contender for tonight i love it it's the lost in your light top in a size small i love the coloring i know it comes in a few other colors and i honestly might get them because this is so pretty and cute just a little cami and it's adjustable it's like a silky material it's so comfortable and really cute i freaking love it this top this is the Double Vision Bustier. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the print situation going on here. It's so flattering, so comfortable, sucks you in at all the right spots. This is everything. Oh my god, this is totally going to be one of my new go-tos. This haul is just hitting the spot. I am so happy right now. Okay, this is a really fun piece. This skirt, this is the Songs of Mine Cargo Maxi Skirt. I love this. You guys know I love cargo pants and I love maxi skirts. So two of my favorite things into one. And I think it's so cute. It looks so good with this top. And it's really comfortable. It has a drawstring on the waist. And it's just... A black maxi cargo skirt how fun i've never seen this done before and i'm obsessed with it this outfit is freaking sick this is the complicated baby tee in a size small and the coming back mini skirt also in a size small i love how these pieces look together this is so freaking sick here's the back like are we kidding this is so fun i love this and it's like a spandexy stretchy material which is nice I just think this is so fun and even this baby tee with like a pair of jeans would be sick too to make it more cash but i love this this is everything next we have the bad together mini dress in a size small this is so cute very sexy it's all lace and i just think it's really really fun very y2k vibes i love it and i love the color i love anything that's pink next we have the nothing like you mini dress also in a size small why is this one giving me like sharpay evans or something i don't know but i love it it's a halter it's so cute it's lace also it's very similar to the last one i love how low this dips down here i just think it's so cute this is just gonna be so fun for summer i feel like these dresses also would be really fun for like a little cover up on a trip or something or just obviously to wear out but i just think that they're so cute i love this and i love this color as well next we have the first bikini this is the wakiki bikini top i love the print i think it's so pretty and these are the belmont bikini bottoms so cute love this a lot i have my cousin's bachelorette party this weekend and there's a pool at the house so you know i'm going to be bringing all three of these and these are also both in a size small here's the next bikini i love the print of this and i also love the little bow detailings it's so cute this is the always poolside bikini top and the wade in your water bikini bottom 
so cute obsessed with this all of their bikinis are also such good quality like i feel secure in them and confident and i just love them they're my go-to favorite pretty much the only bikinis that i wear so i love them okay lastly we have this bikini i love this one i love the print of it i think it's just so pretty this is the follow the sun bikini top in a size small and then the beach club bottoms in a size small the bottoms also cinch on the back on the butt but i don't want to show you guys my butt so i'm not gonna do that but i love this it's really cute okay now i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear to dinner tonight and then i'll be back and we're gonna start doing my makeup but again everything will be linked down below and you can use my code amanda in all caps for 15 percent off on white fox boutique my absolute faves okay i'll be right back i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go with this fit we'll see though i need to do my makeup and then we will make the final decision but i just made a little snack dinner is at 7 30 and it's like four o'clock right now and i'm so hungry because i did not have lunch so i made my favorite snack so i want to show you guys what it is this is literally the best snack ever it's just pico feta and oil and vinegar i've definitely showed you guys this before but it's just my favorite i eat it with stacy chips but I also will literally just like eat it by the spoon because it's just like that good. So this is my snack to hold me over until dinner. Just so good. Okay, I decided I'm gonna do just a little like glam look for dinner tonight. I forget where we're going, but like I said, it's to celebrate my parents' 25th wedding anniversary, which is tomorrow, which is so cute. I'm excited to go have dinner with my family, but I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit because I feel like we haven't chatted too much yet this vlog. So as you guys see from the title, it is called Romanticizing an Average Day in My Life. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I feel like lately without realizing, I have been making it a point to romanticize my day-to-day -day life. Just with like little actions and little things and really just like appreciating my life for what it is, even the mundane moments. Like something as simple as fucking like cleaning i don't know like i really try to just romanticize everything and the reason being is because it's really easy to just get caught up in the day-to-day -day and like your routine and to kind of like go through the motions without being really aware of your life i don't know like i feel like days sometimes will pass me by and i'm like what just happened this week like i don't even know but i feel like when i am romanticizing my life i am so much more aware of all of the little things and it just makes me really happy. I also love taking pictures of literally everything and vlogging everything and just like documenting my life. Obviously, that's my job. But I feel like that also is like kind of romanticizing life in a way. Just making these little like video diaries of my life. But I feel like I was kind of going through it a lot <laughs> in the past. I mean, I'm, I'm always, not always going through it, but I struggle with anxiety as you guys know and I feel like I was getting caught up in a rut and I was just getting really down on myself a lot and so about like a month ago I would say I ordered the five minute journal I used to write in the five minute journal every single day for the longest time and I loved it and then I kind of just like stopped and I don't even know where my old five minute journal is anymore but I ordered a new one about a month ago and something about journaling like helps me put a lot in per into perspective and I kind of just decided to take control of my life and to over romanticize it and to just become a happier better version of myself because I was starting to literally hate myself and just started hating like the person I was becoming and that sounds really sad and terrible but it's true I was just like miserable and I was sad all the time and I hated being around myself I started literally hating my own company and at that moment I was like okay I need to do something about this and like change my mindset and get back to the good habits I had that were making me be a better version of myself and the person that I like to be I feel like the term like romanticizing your life is such a trend but it really benefits your life when you take control of your life and romanticize the little things, it's really just you being grateful for the little mundane things in life, which make up most of your life. Like most of life are those mundane moments and finding like joy and excitement from the little things makes life so much 
better and that's why i wanted to like go to a coffee shop this morning and do my work from there because it makes me feel like the fucking main character like i feel like the main character of a movie would go edit her youtube video in a little cute coffee shop i just think we all should be romanticizing our lives i feel like it's really easy to do in the summer i always find myself romanticizing every little thing in the summer but i think all year round we should be doing it and i don't know i feel like unknowingly i was starting to romanticize my life more with my journal and just like the mindset i was trying to have and i was like hold on i'm literally romanticizing my life and that's what's pulling me out of this funk and it really has helped so that's the tea and if you guys take anything from this let it be to buy a fucking five minute journal or just buy a journal in general and every single day write down the things that you're grateful for the little things because i feel like if you're not taking a moment every single day you don't even have to write it down at least like say it in your head say it out loud say it in your prayers and whatever it is that you like to do just listing the things that you're grateful for right in the morning and right before bed i feel like those are the best times to do it it makes life so much better and it puts everything into perspective because if you're not taking a moment every single day to literally like tell yourself and say the things that you're grateful for it's really easy to just like pass by your days which without thinking of the positive parts of life i don't know i feel like i can't put my thoughts into words correctly <laughs> i guess all i'm trying to say is to make it a point every single day to look yourself in the mirror say positive affirmations to yourself and say out loud or write it down or whatever you want to do the things you're grateful for it is so important to show gratitude and it makes life so much better I'm telling you. I know from experience. Okay, I'm gonna finish my makeup and listen to music. This is literally one of my favorite parts of my days. Okay, I'm fully ready. I got some more work done. Now I need to run out the door, but I went with this outfit. My jacket's also from White Fox. And yeah, that's the look. Let's go. We're going to a restaurant called El Fresco. And I'm gonna have to meet my family there because if I go home first, I'm not gonna make it on time. I'm gonna make everyone late, so. I'm gonna go meet my family there. It also looks like it's not a downpour. It would be a vibe if I were staying home. I hope that it passes by. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, apparently there's, not apparently, there is, I just found out, a forest fire in Canada and the smoke is like coming down to this area and like my hometown too, it's happening. And it's so smoky out and like smells like fire. I can't imagine how it is in Canada right now if it's like this all the way down here i'm praying for everybody i hope everyone's okay i need to like look more into what's happening but it literally like smells like a fire pit and it's so so smoky oh my god i thought it was like pouring out but no holy shit it like looks so creepy like an apocalypse or something guys i'm actually like beyond spooked out at the outdoors right now romanticizing for a fire i'm kidding that's not funny actually at all it's a really spooky like it looks like there's just a filter on the world outside right now there's so many people walking around with masks on. I'm like, is this like safe to be outside? I need to like watch the news or something because what is going on right now? I I don't know. I feel like I'm in the middle of like an apocalypse. Low key. Like it looks like an apocalypse outside. It's so creepy. I'm going to get gas now and then I'm gonna go meet my family at the restaurant. Getting gas in New Jersey is something I strongly romanticize every single time because I love the fact that I don't need to pump my own gas. It's just the most fun thing ever. When I lived in New York, in my hometown, I fully would drive sometimes to Jersey just to get gas because I hated pumping my gas, especially in the winter. Also, I literally love this car. This is my parents' car and I love driving it so much. It's like my favorite car that I've driven. <laughs> the jeep grand cherokee i think and i just like love how it feels being like so up high i don't plan on getting a new car anytime soon because my car is like perfectly fine but the next car that i do get whenever that is i want it to be a truck not like a truck truck but like a higher up car just because i feel like on top of the fucking world when i'm driving this high like i love it so i'm kind of thriving right now let's listen to some music shall we Cross on his neck, but he spends some days in my bed. He's got pretty long brown hair, green eyes that look like sex. I will always love you. How I do, do I will always be there for you. Hello. Hello. Do you fill it up regular, please? Thank you. 
my god, it's still going? This card takes forever to fill up. Oh, spoke too soon. It's done. Mm -mm. Thank you. You too. <coughs> Wait, I feel like I should not be breathing in the outdoors. Like, it actually is making me, like, like my nose is itchy. And I feel like my throat's burning. Is the world ending? I'm kind of spooked. And everyone's wearing masks because I, I actually think the air quality is so bad right now because of this. I am not enjoying this. I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. Okay, let me just act like nothing's wrong because I don't want to think about how scary this kind of is. It doesn't feel bearable. Cause every time I get too close, I just go mess it up. Everybody wants you. Everybody wonders what you Romanticizing everyone driving like a fucking idiot. No, like genuinely, this girl can't drive in front of me. Genuinely. And I don't get road rage. Like, I'm not a road rage girl. <coughs> but this bitch actually can't drive. For shit. Okay. <laughs> Still make excuses for you constantly. We don't really like what's on the news, but it's on all the time. kidding i cuddle this thing to sleep and it is my comfort bear okay i'm gonna go to bed it's so late it's 12 38 i'm exhausted today was such a great day hope you guys enjoyed romanticizing my life with me today was actually a really really good day despite the state of the air quality which i'm actually terrified about and am considering canceling all my plans for tomorrow because i'm scared to go outside because apparently the air quality is really bad and if you didn't know i have asthma so i'm kind of scared to go out there um, anyways, good night. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.